Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to model and animate a car trick like this. If you select the uh, empty box here and if you drag, you can see that the wheels rotate with the car. Okay. So when you want to animate, you simply have to keyframe the box and the wheels will uh, animate automatically and then you can animate this guy separately if you want it to rock around while animating okay so for example if i move this here hit the i key and, and a location key and then say at 40 the cart moves here and i hit the i key and location you can see that the cart is moving by itself and if I select this and rotate it down hit the I key rotation at 10 because of the motion it will come back to its original place so it's down it moves in and at 40 it rotates down and I can simply shift D this key so you can see that the cart is down and then because of the motion it comes up and then we, when it stops it goes down again okay something like that can be animated so let us see how to do it you'll have to create a, a torus okay and then if you look at the torus I'll move it this down. I have used 16 segments so there will be eight spokes coming out the spokes are there so you can see the animation okay and then I have used uh, seven sides so that you get a flat face in the middle that can be extruded out for the spokes okay and then you can play with the uh, size of the wheel whatever you feel comfortable okay once that is done it's going to stand up so we'll rotate it. it should only be in one axis and I'll hit the N key to make it 90 degrees N key again to hide it or you can simply click here and get it back okay then you go to edit mode Polygon select one and then shift select the alternate ones okay. all right so you hit the extrude key extrude it and then right click and then you can simply scale it inside okay object mode you will need two of these so you'll copy one more okay shift P and move it aside whatever distance you think is right for the cart then we'll create a member that connects these two so I'm going to use uh, add mesh I'll use a UV cube and again I have a very low poly 12 and 6 and this one becomes maybe 0.5 or even slower, smaller later on we'll do it so again it rotates in this direction again 90 degrees shift and middle mouse is pan and then you can simply click the middle mouse and rotate 
So I'll go to edit mode, select the polygons, and this will be too big a rod. So what I can do is select then shift select all of these right click and we will subdivide it okay and then we'll go to polygon mode or we can select this middle one select select more more and then we can extrude it out okay and then we can delete faces okay go to object mode this object has a center here so we will go to edit mode and then we will have to select all of these and move the origin here okay. object mode and we can add a mirror modifier go to modifier mirror X is not working, Y, Y is not working, Z. Okay, so Z is working. And then now we can continue to edit mode, move it out, and select the vertices and zoom them. until they meet object mode select this object and then we can simply move this in the right place Okay, so we got that done. Then we have to model the middle part. So we'll go to, we will, what we'll do is we'll let's select this, shift select this, shift select this, go to object join. All right, so let's select this and we need to apply all the modifiers. There's no modifier here, no modifier here. All these are mesh now, so we'll select this first, then this, then this. Okay, select this two object, join, shift, select. Object set origin geometry to origin that way things are in the right place you can spend time to align this but i'm not going to spend my time doing that select this to object join okay so when this is joined this will rotate like this all right so that part is done then we'll create our object cube there it is okay move the cube in the middle move it up okay edit mode subdivide okay we are subdividing it because we need some interesting 
profile for this car. So I'll scale it out, scale it wide. Okay, pick it too much. All right, so edit mode. Let's select the top faces. This, 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 and this, and we'll delete it. Delete faces. We have an empty box now. We'll go to the vertex mode. Okay, so it is going to be like this like this so these go in the middle okay these go in the middle the, the middle ones go up these ones go down These ones will go slightly here. These ones will go up and right. Up and right. These ones will go slightly down. Okay, so some basic shape if you want you can scale these two in the middle also okay to get some interesting shape okay that's good enough object mode and then we will add solidify and give it some thickness okay then we need the handle so we'll go to edit mode and then we'll select this face and insert it Scale it inside and extrude it out. Pop it down so it is straight. Same thing here. Set it out. Scale it in. Extrude it out. Move it down. I'm doing it this really fast because I need to focus on the rigging part, but I also want to show you the basic modeling. So this is the cart. Okay, this will just simply lie there. All right, that's good enough. Now we will go to object add empty cube okay this is just the handle to select the box so now what we need to do is we need to constrain the wheels to this box and then we will parent it to that object so we'll select this go to constraints and then add a transformation constraint okay so Step one is to select the wheels and add a transportation constraint. We will select the box. So basically what we are saying is when the box moves, this rotates.
okay so basically what we are saying is this is moving in n if i open n in this one you can see that the x value is what we need to animate for this and y rotation for this okay so we'll select this we'll say location x how much distance 25 units worked for me so i said 25 and here i'll say rotation 360 so when that moves 25 this moves 360 and here we have to say that the x will control y so here it will become x okay so x controls y so if i select this you can see that the it is moving but it is not moving beyond 25 so what we need to do is we need to we select this and then we say extrapolation so what that will do is no matter when it moves it will always rotate okay now what we do is we will select this shift select this object parent object so when i select this and move now the wheel is rotating with the cart now i'll select this shift select this i'll go to object parent object so now i can animate this object the cart is going to be animated okay that's about it you can add the colors to match the cart okay that's it thank you